What's up, viewers? This is Project Jake Plays, and welcome back to episode 30 of Project Morrowind. In glorious 1080p, let's dive in here. I was just talking to uh, Hasfat here, uh, reading up a little bit about Morrowind history, stuff I already know. Obviously, I'm an expert. But uh, I'll just leave it up here for a second so you can read it. And uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, going to the, f uh, what's it called? Fort Arkingthand, if I remember correctly. So we're going to bring up these directions right here and uh these actually actually wait a second here i'm pretty i'm pretty sure yeah the these these directions for whatever reason don't make it into your journal so i am just going to no i'm just going to talk to him real quick and i'm going to i'm going to write this down so i'll be right back in one second here okay so we're back and it's always a good idea to have a pen and paper around you when you're you're gaming. Any game, to be honest with you, not just Morrowind. Uh, though from Morrowind, it has saved me more than once, so that's fine here. Um, okay, so we're going to get out of here. I'm not going to join the Fighter's Guild at this point. I just don't care to. Uh, if I can remember how to get out of this place. Here we go. All right. Right there. Okay, so where we need to go is... Balmora. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we need to go like around here. I'm pretty, pretty sure. It doesn't matter, we got directions. So we're gonna head south of town. Past Silt Strider. Uh, where am I at? There I am. So we're going to go basically kind of near where we came in to the city of Balmora. I know some shortcuts. There's still Strider, okay. Um... Pretty sure, no, 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 no. This is the way we go. Right here. This is the way out. I know. I know where I'm going. All right. Fresh game. No. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so we're gonna leave town. Yeah. Welcome to Balmora. Um, we're gonna cross this little bridge here. And we pretty much gotta go towards Caldera. Yeah, Caldera. My handwriting is atrocious. Hold on one second. Yes, Caldera. Such a beautiful landscape. I love this game. I'm not even a freaking professional at it. Not the most proficient Morrowind player. Balmora. Interesting. Where are we at? Where are we at? Headed in the right direction. Okay. Now, I, if I do remember correctly, and I know I do right now, acrobatics, that's what I'm going for. Um, actually, I should probably stop because I know we're going to meet up a crazy guy and he's going to attack us pretty soon. On, a, on the bridge, actually. Um, did I turn the right way? I'm starting to second guess myself. Oh, this is what. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Caldera. Okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure I previously reached that place earlier than this, but it's just been a long time. Um, starting to look a little Ashlandy, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go this way. What is that? Molagmar. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick save right here. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for the east side of the Foyada, south of a bridge. Foyada is uh, like fire water, basically, or what was it? It was like I didn't write it down. It was uh, basically a lava river from the Red Mountain. Come on, acrobatics! Here's the bridge, and that's a crazy guy. I know he summons a freaking. I'll just stop spoiling it. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. My first real combat in this in this playthrough. Pretty low health though. Hey! Pretty low health. That that was uh I'm scared. I don't need any of that. Diamond, I'll take that. Um, if I remember correctly, I do have a uh, natural healing mod, and it just very slowly regenerates your health. I'm not too sure about that. I'm not. It's hard to. Let's see. Night. My health is 19. Health is still 19. It's 20. Okay, so I do. It's very slow, but it's something at least. Um, I got. Okay. So I'm on this bridge. No, yeah, no. I'm going the right way. I'm supposed to cross this bridge. Oh. So that guy, what's his name? Snowy? Is that it? Snowy Granius. I don't know what his deal is. But, uh, he's got a deal, that's for sure. I'm gonna take this freaking ramp up here. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm looking for... What is it called? That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I couldn't find it. It's so cool, though. Getting locked in. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready for arcing sand? It's so cool. Okay, so basically, we just have to find the. There's a. Sh there's a. Do you remember cube? It's like on a bookshelf thing. Um. I know there's a few enemies in here. These Dwemer ruins are much more creepy than they are in, like, uh, Skyrim, for example. I I kind of remember. I think it's over there. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while. As I keep saying, it's been a while. It's dark in this dungeon here, too. Let's, can we turn up this freaking brightness? That's why it was so easy. My difficulty is so low. Jesus. Well. That's too much. Well. Alright, well, let's turn my brightness up a little bit. I just edited that out real quick. But I also learned why that guy was so easy. My difficulty is so low here. Um, I, I really suck at this game. 
it's a hard game, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it for now. But obviously, we're gonna crank it up a little bit as we get better. And I'm pretty sure it's over here. <laughs> yeah, got him. Steel dagger, short blade, not good with short blades. Common belt, blah blah blah. Common shirt, common common. Gold. I need the gold. I don't know what he's doing here. Right? You can see it's like a bandit or something. I'm very certain the cube is like over here. What's up? I will enjoy this. I don't know why you didn't tag me right away. All right, we need to up this difficulty, man. Okay. Um. God, let's just go in. Man, I wish I remembered this, because I don't remember it all. Oh, Jesus. Christ, the bodies fall magnificently, though. I'll take that. I don't think this I don't think this is the right one, man. Are they the same place, don't? I don't know what I'm doing. It's been too long. I suppose that makes it more interesting though. There's an enemy. Alright, well, that's a problem. What do we got in here? Probably should have been taking leftover coins from earlier. Oh, wait, no, I want that. Where's that boy at? That boy, that boy. Is there like a buzz? Is there a buzz I'm hearing? I hope that's like an ambient sound and not the uh, problem with the audio. These are the same doors. Oh, you know what? It might it might be in there actually. I think I went to that other place for nothing. Oh well, I got some experience, right? That's the most important thing. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Surrender now, and I might let you live. Freaking misses, dude. <laughs> And then I finally just smack him. 31 gold, not too bad. Oh, I, I do want that. Oh, 
Uh, people are probably cringing right now, being like, God, you're not taking stuff you should be taking. Hey, there we go. It's been too long, man. Alright, well, we're gonna get out of here. I just looted a few little crates in there. I'm just got a couple of Dwemer coins, nothing else really of consequence. gonna head out. Heading out. Alright. The Dwemer. Whatever happened to the Dwemer? You never know. What's in here? Probably nothing. Okay. Do I really want to go all the way down here? It's we I'm we I'm pretty sure we get we have to go back to this place anyway, I'm pretty sure. Or we get uh We don't get we get like something that lets us explore this place more, I'm pretty sure. Oh well we got the cube, we're gonna head back to Balmora. If I could get back up here. This is where I came in, right? Right? Take those. Those could be useful. Probably could have used those when I went in. Look at that. I forget what those are called. They're called like Gale Riders or something. No, that's not it. That's not it. I, I really don't want to mess with it though. Okay. There's them. Here come that boy. <laughs> Hopping all the way back to Balmora. And drinking tea while we do it. I'm having a lot of fun with this series though, that's for sure. Really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too, like I said. I just cannot say it enough, guys. People, okay, uh, let's see. Sorcerer Dave, if you haven't heard of him on YouTube, um, he's not the hugest guy. He's got like 60,000 subs or something. But he really loves Morrowind, and I came from that way. He really loves Morrowind, and he plays. He's just, he like knows everything about the game, alright? He's been playing for like a decade or more, but, you know, that's like not me, okay? I haven't, I've been playing Morrowind. I played Morrowind once two years ago, alright? That's, that's what we're doing here. Now, Skyrim, I can tell you everything inside and out. About Skyrim. Well, of course, not everything. The thing about Elder Scrolls is, even when you think you know everything, the game always throws a few surprises at you. Something you've never discovered before, and am I going the right way? Yes, I am. It's uh, it's a pretty magical universe to be a part of. To be honest with you, it's just you're always learning new stuff, you know. Maybe I'll wander upon something in this game that you've never even seen if you care about this game. Who knows? Not I. I don't know anything or everything. I know some stuff. <laughs> Crossing the Odai River now. I like those owl sounds. The Silstrider whales are like. I love those sounds so much. So, so much. But yeah, anyway, what I'm really driving at here is I suck at this game, alright? Let's just be honest. I am not the most proficient Morrowind player, okay? It's a hard game, and I have, have not been mastering it since 2002 when it came out. But we're gonna go back to the to uh, Trade Street, to the Fighters Guild. We can do that at least. Bum, ba -da -ba. I will listen out there. I'm waiting. I will listen, Outlander. Actually, this is probably one of the fat. Oh, I think I could have gone up that other one. You see, I, I don't, uh, I kind of know the city a little bit, but obviously I'm not the most proficient when it comes to it. And it's right here. I was right. This is the right way. I shouldn't be second guessing myself so much. What say you? That's a strong Nord woman. What say you? What say I? Hey! Oh, I can't open so that yet because I haven't joined the Fighters Guild. 
That's okay. Is this the right door? No, I always open that door. It's not a door, it's just a room. Go ahead, stranger. So, have you done that little favor I asked? Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Just let me take this Dwemer puzzle box, and then I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the sixth house. And about the Neverine. By the way, the inspiration the inscriptions on the box seem to be the des directions for setting a Dwemer key to open the specific book. A specific lock. Wow. If you're interested, after you delivered your report to Caius, come back and maybe have a key which you can take back to Arkingthand. I was right, man. That's right. Uh, okay, so sixth house. House Dagoth is the sixth house, uh, the lost sixth house. In the first age, House of Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. I can never. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to Caius and recommend some six house references he should read. So I got the notes for the six house. Neverine. The Ashlanders believe a reborn Neverar will reunite, reunite the Dunmer against the Outlander invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elf, Elven nation. Neverar is a legendary hero and the saint of the temple, but the temple denies the prophecy and the pre and persecutes heretics who believe in the Neverine. Tell Caius that um, Sharn Gramozga will be a better person to ask about the native faiths and superstitions. Okay. House Dagoth was the sixth of the seven Dunmer Great Houses. Nothing remains of the sixth house. Its members were all slain or slain or adopted into other great houses following their treason in the War of the First Council. Their clanstead was called Kogoron. Okay, well, we're learning lots of useful information here. Here's a list of the books. That's great. This is the information I gotta uh, report back to Caius. And, um. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting this key in this episode, or. I, I really don't think we're gonna be bothering with this right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna we're just gonna head back to Caius. We're gonna tell him what happened, and then uh, we're gonna end the episode because there's a lot of sense in making episodes like 20. Well, they are 20 minutes. It's gonna be like 25 minutes, but there's a lot of sense in making episodes that are 30 minutes long, which I have a really bad habit of doing. I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry this up. I kind of want to join the Fighters Guild just to freaking get some Can't access to these chests. The qu the quests you have to freaking do to Don't start the Fighters about. Guild are so funny. Get I remember there's one. But this lady has like two rats in her house, and she's like, oh, they're, it's getting to my pillows, my good pillows. And you kill the rat in the house, and it's like, she's got regular pillows, but then she's got like nice pillows, which like really look out of place in the game. My time is precious, so much. But no, 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 that's not all. You kill, I am a sleeper, among thousands will bring you a message, Dagoth or calls you soldier, and you cannot tell your lord. The sixth house has risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Alright. I don't remember that, I'll be honest with you. What do you want? It's obviously part of the freaking game. I remember the sleeper, but it, it's like a basically a voice in the sky, right? No one Speak actually quickly, just talks to me. Or go away. Pretty sure that's what it was supposed to be. Pretty I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, it's been a little bit. But we're gonna report back to Caius, and it's always I'm always like out and about at night Quickly in this game, aren't I? Right? I haven't much time. Hopping everywhere, cause that's how you level up. Well, actually, I can't level up my main level because it's not a major or minor skill, but you know what I'm saying. You want something, friend? Uh, your orders? Yes. Oh, those notes from Hasfag? Excellent. I trust he didn't work you too hard for them. I'll look over them in detail later, but now I have some new orders for you. Uh, I did not mean to click that. He took the notes. Journal's been updated. I've glanced at his notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Neverine Cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Balmora Fighters Guild. Get Sharon Mogazov to tell you what he knows about the Neverine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks and report back when she's giving you the information. That's awesome. We're going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to make another one right now because I'm having such fun with this series. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you like HD PC gaming videos every single day, then hit subscribe and come back tomorrow. We're glad to have you. Thanks for the support. It has been real. <laughs>